What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So we need to talk about AMC really quick, give you guys an understanding of what's actually happening today. The day is not over. It's 2.50. We still have about an hour and 10 minutes left for the market. And, you know, obviously we have to worry about the after hours market and all that stuff. But what we're seeing behind me is absolutely ridiculous. We're down 10% right now, which does mean the SSR is going to be on for tomorrow. But we'll get into that in a little bit. We're going to talk about all this, talk about the Ortex numbers, and just give you my opinion on what actually happened today. So before we get started in this, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. And make sure that you get your free stocks with Weeble down below. Don't forget to check out some of the links in the description. It does help out the channel. Now, I know a lot of people talked to me um, earlier today in the pre-market. It was not really the most exciting pre-market. It was already down 5% in the pre-market. It was crazy. And they asked me a bunch of times, you know, can this is this possible that it can get to uh, you know, below $40, around $39 or $38. Is that what can happen? And I was like, yes. I mean, it's possible that it can happen. Um, I didn't think that it would. I thought we would see more of an increased day after seeing a pretty bad day the day prior. Um, but we're seeing some really bad, uh, you know, movement here with AMC. <coughs> And is this all dependent on sellers? No. Do I think sellers are mixed in this? Yes. Do I think they're creating fear? Yes. Do I think this is because of the overall market and most stocks that we're looking at? If I look at my my list, my most popular list, you're going to see a number of stocks that are red, a lot of stocks that are red. Yes, I think it's a, a part of that, that you have a lot of stocks that are red and it's following different uh, trends, different uh, movement there. So yes. But... I think there's more that goes into it and we always talk about this. So let's get into the price action here and then we can get into uh, what we're seeing based on the Ortex data and all that stuff. So when we started uh, this morning, somewhere around four o'clock, it did decrease and looks like it was going to fluctuate, was on a slight downward trend. <coughs> thought we were gonna see something to where it was actually going up to about $49, $50. It did resist um, at that like below $50 mark and then started to fall down even more when it got towards the end of the pre-market. It did end up leveling out and people thought that it was going to bounce off of there. I thought it might have that chance of bouncing, but it ended up leveling out. They're consolidating a little bit, seeing a little bit of an increase um, when it did open and then it fell. It fell pretty hard and then it had more of the same where you did see the stair stepping down here. You see the stair stepping right there. You're seeing more stair stepping here. You're seeing nothing but shorting that's going on there. You have some selling action, you have some shorting action, um, but mainly it's the shorting action that's actually taking place. You can see that that dropped significantly after any type of recovery, bringing us down to levels that we haven't been to in, in a little bit. Um, but then it started to increase. We started to see that level come back and get back up to about $46. <clears throat> thinking that that was going to go up to about $49, $50, get back to about break even for the day from close to close, we would have seen break even, but ended up falling some more. And now you see it dropping down to a low of $44 and 80, 83 cents. As of the moment, you see that low of $44 and 46 cents. So not the lowest point of the day, but it is pretty low the way that it is dropping. Now we know that some of this, we do have some um, you know, selling action peppered in there um, with a lot of shorting action that's going on. So um, this is not something that I'm thinking of as the end of the world. I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. We have 86 million um, shares worth of volume. I would imagine a bunch of that is short volume that's going through it. So uh, let's go ahead and take some time to look at the Ortex data a little bit. Just give an understanding of what um, is happening Ortex wise. Um, let's break this down and we're going to see that the Ortex data shows that we have a short interest change of plus 4%. That means that they're definitely shorting, they're definitely borrowing a lot more. You can see that they borrowed uh, 5.76 million shares versus the 1.87 million shares returned. Um, the total um, estimated shorted shares is 97, 97 million, 97.11 million, and it's around 19% short interest of free float. So you know that they're continuing to short this position. They're going to try and short it as much as they can. They know what we're doing. They know that a lot of people are holding and they're trying to create fear, which they are doing. Yesterday, they created fear with Ortex data. Ortex data was, was uh, you know, wrong and it showed 35 million shares that were out there, which got a lot of people worried and they were like, I'm selling my position. I've heard of a couple of people that were like, hey, you know what? I'm selling my position. I'm happy with what I gain. And 
you're not really you know following through with the overall plan you understand that they are shorting this thing you know as much as they possibly can and we're looking to gain as much as we possibly can <coughs> jesus but yeah i mean um looking at four percent you know short interest change that just shows me that there's more opportunity to gain more so what did i end up doing today as as a form of confidence to you guys um this is what i ended up doing so i had um 800 uh i had 856 shares i ended up buying 44 more shares to round it up to an even 900 i bought more shares of amc and that's something that i said i wouldn't do especially after you know covering my initial investment i had said that i would not buy more shares i ended up buying more shares because i felt as though this is an opportunity to show people that i truly do believe in the position no matter what my strategy actually is i bought more of amc i bought more of gme the reason why is because i believe in it i truly do and this is to show you that you should believe in it as well so for all the people that are coming out and saying Look, I'm tired of holding this. If it's a time factor for you, then I understand. If it's something to where you're like, oh, you know what? I gain as much as I want. I think you're going to be missing out. And this is merely just my opinion. It's not financial advice. It's just my opinion. So I wanted to show everybody that I do have some sort of uh, confidence in it. I know people um, don't really like when anybody sells anything, but I always have this strategy of, you know, peppering in some sales on the way up so that you don't get caught in a situation when you're at the top and you know they do something malicious or something like that uh so anyways i just want to let you guys know that i do believe in it but we're seeing it right now at about 45 dollars ish we still have some room to grow where it can bounce off this 44 dollar mark get up to about 46 dollars probably close maybe let's see if we can close around 46 47 that would be amazing it looks like it really resisted around 47 so most likely we would close at like 46 if we did end up coming back but um i'm thinking that we're probably going to close in between it's probably going to be somewhere around 45 that might be where we close <coughs> so let me know what you think about what happened today i know it was a little bit difficult of a day to take in uh, because of the fact that we had you know 87 million shares worth of volume and the price really just dropped down we were down below 10 percent well below 10 percent a number of positions were down it wasn't just amc you know you could see gme that was down you could see roblox that is down you could see a lot of positions that are down b squared's down by 30 percent mrn is down by 20 21 percent uh, MRIN is down by 21%. Ride is down by 8%. NEO, 8%. So there's so many positions that are actually down. And um, we know that um, this is not the full extent to what this stock actually is. It's going to be a lot more. So guys, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Make sure that you get your free stocks with Weeble down below. Don't forget to check out some of the links in the description. It does help out the channel. Also, if you want to uh, check out some of my other channels, definitely do that as well. Uh, but I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.